All right, everyone. So today I wanted to go over one of the most underappreciated features of enhancing, and that is devouring. I wanted to give you guys all the info that you need to know about devouring because for future videos, when I put out stuff about like fail stacking and whatnot, a lot of the times I will be using a system that incorporates devouring. So it's really important to put this out there first so that when those videos come out in the future, you have an understanding of how the system works. And I wanted to actually share with you guys the fail stack levels that you actually gain for devouring different levels of equipment and also give you guys my perspective on which ones I think are worth it and which ones are not because obviously there is a decent amount of math that goes into you know enhancing and how much it costs to get to certain levels and what fail stack levels to use and all that sort of stuff and uh, you can use this math to also figure out you know whether certain enhancement levels of gear is worth devouring versus other levels which are obviously not going to be worth it now they revamped the system a while ago it used to be a lot worse but if you're wondering how to actually devour it's pretty simple you just go to a piece of equipment here you open up your um, black spirit go to enhancements and then you just go to the extract window and then you've got two different tabs here you've got the devour tab and then of course you've got the blacksmith secret book which is where if you have a fail stack and you want to book it that's where you would do that but for devouring what you would do here is you would place a piece of gear here and uh, what devouring is going to do is it is going to end up giving you a fail stack or completely destroying that piece of gear and there's going to be various difficulty levels of or i guess various enhancement levels will give you a different fail stack um levels depending on what gear you actually devour so like for example prize will give you uh, you know this fail stack then duos will give you another fail stack and so on and so forth and there's a chart which i will actually show you guys right here uh, that will tell you all the different fail stack levels that you actually get for devouring different equipment now a very important note about this this is incredibly important and it makes a very big difference for one of my fail stacking strategies is notice how weapons and armor give you different fail stack levels. Uh, this is actually super important. And you'll see here that I've got one of these uh, militia shields, which is actually considered it's a weapon. So it's going to end up giving me a 28 fail stack. Now, if you're wondering why it's 29, it's because I have the plus one ruler piece bonus. So whatever your ruler piece bonus is, plus the devouring amount, which for prize is 28. Now, that's just for weapons. For armor, you can see it looking at the chart, it's only going to actually devour to a 25 stack. And there is indeed a reasonable difference between a 25 stack and a 28 stack. 28s are worth a bit more. And I will show you guys that chart here in a second as well that kind of tells you the associated value of fail stack levels below like 30 or so is what I have for you. So that's for a weapon right there. You can see it gives you a 28 stack. Just as an example, if we do end up going to like a piece of armor, instead you'll see that instead of going from, um, you know, plus one to plus 29, which is that 28 with my uh, ruler piece, it only goes from plus one to plus 26, which is of course 25 fail stack levels um, that you end up getting from uh, armor. Now, very importantly, you have to have a base enhancement chance of zero in order to do this for gray armor there's a whole different system for greens blues and whatnot but we're not going to get into that today because that's a whole different level of complexity but uh, for devouring you know like your reblast or militia shields or your basic gray items it does need to have a enhancement chance of zero so if you already have fail stack levels like on your character if you don't have a dater's band or whatever you will not be able to devour reblasts or militia shields or any other gray items so now, looking at the chart, you can see here, uh, let's focus on the armor for a second. So, prize will give you a 25 stack, duos will give you a 30 stack, tries will end up giving you a 40 stack, tets give you 50, and pens end up giving you 70. And just so you guys can see, like this is a duo, you can see it gives you the 30 there. Here is a try, it would end up giving you um, a 40 stack. And then now, if we end up going to the weapons, you can see that prize will end up giving you 28, duos will give you 33. Tries give you 43, Tets give you 53, and Pens give you 75. So basically the difference is for weapons, they end up giving you three additional fail stack levels at every difficulty, Pride, Duo, Try, and Tet, and then five additional levels at the Pen difficulty. Now, if you are wondering the reason why, um, it's actually pretty simple, is weapons are generally considered to be more valuable because in order to um, do weapons, you need to use the concentrated stones and just so you guys can see as an example 
you can see that these are going to take the concentrated weapon stones, which are more valuable because you need sharps for them. Whereas if you were to take like an armor, it uses these stones, the concentrated armor stones, which only use hard, sharp, or hard shards, um, and those ones are less valuable. And because of that, um, you know, the armors are generally considered to be less valuable at the same enhancement difficulty. And just so you can see, if we look at the, um, you know, the market price, if we look at like hards, you can see right now their base price 1.43. But then if we look at sharps, you'll see that their base price is like 2.1 million. So there's a pretty, pretty reasonable increase there in the price. Now that we've gone over all the basics as to the levels that you actually get from devouring, the really big thing is which ones are worth it, if any, um, what ones would you go for? And I'll say I think the absolute best one out of all of these options is actually going to end up being the pry weapons. Now, I understand that the cost of the weapons is going to be a little bit higher because you do have to use sharps. However, there's only one level that you have to get through where you use sharps in order to get a pry. Every single other difficulty level, you're building up your fail stacks normally with your blackstones and blackstones right now, the armor of the weapons are both very, very similar in price. They're both sitting very close to the minimum price. So that's not going to account for a huge amount there. And you're building fail stacks anyway, that way it's really only a one level that you have to go through with, um, you know, with the more expensive stones and that is plus 15 to pry. And on average, this level is going to end up taking you and I'll just show you guys here because we've got a fail stack to do this. So on average, this level ends up taking about three sharps or three of these um, concentrated stones compared to if you were to do a, um, you know, armor. Um, if we go to a plus 15, it uh, same thing. It uses about three of these on average in order to end up getting from plus 15 to pry. So, you know, basically the cost difference between those stones, if you look at hards at like 1.4 million and sharps at like 2 million or so, you know, there's a difference of like 700,000. And because it takes about three of them on average to go from plus 15 to pry, basically what you're doing is you're paying about 2 million silver or so for those three fail stack levels. And I'll tell you that the levels from 25 to 28 is definitely going to be worth that 2 million silver, um, especially, especially if you have the rulipies as well. Um, and that is very, very important because the devouring system just gets better and better if you have any extra um, permanent enhancement levels from rule of So like normally it would be the difference between levels 25 and 28. However, if you have the plus five rule of peace, which very few people have, it's one of the things I'm working on very, very hard um, on, you know, the times that I'm not streaming. Uh, it's a slow grind, but we're working on it. Um, now it's not the difference between the levels 25 and 28. It's now the difference between level 30 and 33. So you're paying 2 million for fail stack levels 30 to 33. And that is absolutely worth it. Levels start to become very, very expensive at that point. So the short answer is yes, it is worth it for uh, devoured pry weapons. However, once you move past pry, um, the amount of, uh, of the concentrated stones that you have to use to get to the higher difficulties and the fail stack levels that you get, the math no longer really works out very well. And at that point, if you're going to be tapping past pry just for fail stacks, then it's much better to just go with your typical armor because the stones are a lot cheaper. Um, and I'll just quickly go over here, um, you know, all the difficulties and then the ones that are definitely not worth it because this is pretty important stuff here. Um, generally speaking, uh, pry is really the only the only one that is really going to be worth it for weapons. Um, duo, it's not terrible, but pry is still a bit better. And then anything past try, it takes a lot of concentrated stones to end up going from pry to try. It takes something like 20 or so on average in that general ballpark. So, you know, at an extra cost of 700,000 each or whatever, you're paying like 15 million for three extra fail stack levels at that point. At that point, it's not really worth it as much as it is worth it for the earlier levels where you're only paying a couple million extra in terms of the uh, additional money that you have to spend. So um, there's a drop off after pry for weapons. Um, now with armor, because the uh, hards are cheaper, it's kind of the opposite in the sense, whereas prize, um, the problem is uh, a 25 stack is um, like, it's okay. But generally speaking, like if you're going to do prize, I like to go with the weapons. And then if I am going to devour at the higher difficulties, like, you know, like try, for example, in order to get like a 40 stack, um, I will generally end up doing the armors because it takes a lot more of the concentrated stones in order to get to try. 
And because these are so much cheaper, um, you know, you're getting a much, much cheaper 40 stack. Yes, you lose out on those three levels, but uh, with the amount of stones, like it only takes three concentrated stones to go from plus 15 to pry. It takes something like 20 or 23 or 25 or something in that ballpark in order to go um, from pry to try or from plus 15 to try. So really big increase there. And with the amount extra that you're going to be spending on the weapon stones, um, it's just, in my opinion, it's not really worth it. Duo is kind of like meh. I'm not a huge fan of it because duos are, you're always going to feel like you want to use them for building up your fail stacks like somewhere in the mid 20s or even like the early 30s. So you could devour it. I don't think it's terrible. I think that there are definitely worse options, but um, I definitely don't think that it is as good as try for armor. Um, and, um, you know, I'm not a huge fan of going anything past pry for devouring for weapons. Now we get to the other difficulties, and at this point, um, Tet is the absolute worst to devour. Like, it is the single-handedly the worst difficulty to, uh, to devour. Uh, it's only for a 50 stack, and the value of a Tet is very high, um, even if it's a Tet Reblath, which is actually, it's a whole topic for another video. You might be like, why is a Tet Reblath any good? It's just a gray, you know, trash boots that you can't sell or do anything with. Well, it gives you very valuable fail stack levels, that um, are very valuable once you get into like the high 80s, 90s, and the low 100s. You know, at that point, basically having a 97% chance to add six fail stacks to your stack, uh, making it easier to hit pens and whatnot, uh, you know, that's very valuable. That's worth hundreds of millions of silver. And a lot of people actually just buy greens off the market on Tet just to click them just for fail stack levels because that's how valuable they become at that point. Um, and, and because of that, uh, a 50 stack is not worth, you know, 250 to 400 million silver. It's just quite simply, it's not, it's worth a lot less than that. And you're never going to want to devour a Tet. You're always going to want to be clicking them. Or if it's a green or whatnot, you can sell it if you need the money. Um, but it's just uh, the math works out terribly for Tets. And Pen, well, if you somehow end up, uh, you know, keep clicking your Reblats and you use your Tets to click, eventually you're going to get a Pen, right? It's going to happen. Uh, we've had uh, something like that happen, except that with a Militia Shield. And uh, it's going to happen if you enhance enough and you click on enough debts, uh, especially if you're trying to save money, you will lose your stack and you'll get a pen. And it's a, you know, it's a, it's a meme item, basically. That's what happens. You get yourself a nice slap in the face and a meme item and uh, you can devour it. We're going to not devour our militia shield for the memes until we absolutely need to. That's the only reason why I'm keeping it is for the memes. But uh, it does give you a 70 stack for armor and a 75 stack for weapons. And uh, it's never worth it though. Like that is a, it is a very small consolation prize because 70 stacks are the absolute lowest that you would ever click on Tets. I'm not a big fan of clicking that early as well. I like to start clicking even on Reblats or Militia. I wouldn't do Militia Shields anymore. I would stick to just Armors. Um, you know, even at that point, if, if I have a Tet, I'm gonna try not to click on it until like at, at minimum 80 or even 90 because those levels start to get very valuable at that point. Um, and yes, there is a 3% chance or whatever it is that you end up hitting a pen reblath or whatever. Um, it's going to happen. And in that case, it's actually a loss because you lose your fail stack, which is worth more than the resultant item because all you can do with it is just devour it to get a 70 stack. So essentially you get your upgrade and you downgrade it and it sucks, but it's worth the gamble in order to build up those very, very valuable stacks because the amount of money that it saves you from building items later on out exceeds the risk that you take by losing your earlier stack and hitting something like a, you know, a pen reblack. I know that that's a little complicated, probably a little bit too much for a video like this. I explained this much better on my Twitch live stream. So if you guys are interested in more in-depth analysis and information about enhancing and whatnot, check it out. We do enhancing basically every single day, twitch.tv slash salt. I'll leave a link in the description, but I've thrown a lot of info in this video and I already, and I feel like there's just we're barely scratching the surface. That's just how it goes with this stuff. So I needed to put this out there before I get into a more um, in-depth video on fail stacking though, because I do use a devouring system. So it wouldn't really make sense for me to put out a video with more info about fail stacking without actually getting into the devouring system first. So hopefully you guys were able to get some stuff out of this. Um, all in all, it is really nice. It's a great system and um, it allows you to get a lot of value even from things like reblast where normally you wouldn't really be able to um, in certain scenarios because they're just basically a great item. So um, with that being said, that's a wrap up for now. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoy it. And until next time.